Hello, my name's Jake Isaac. Uh, I am uh, from South London and I'm a singer-songwriter. London is the place where I, uh, where I grew up. I grew up in uh, South London, Crystal Palace. And I suppose London felt like, especially with the BLM protest that happened over here in the UK, it felt like a bit of a, an epicentre for us. Even filming today um, in, in, in an arch, in a, in a brewery, um, in the middle of London, it just makes so much sense. Um, and it's actually a privilege to be able to express this type of creativity, collaborative creativity, from such a location under a train line. So the artwork for this song um, is, is basically a, a photo, and it's, it was taken by a great creative and photographer and bass player, a guy called Charlie Thornton. He took a picture, there was, there was some guys down in Westminster, there was some, as people were processing, people were climbing up on like bus shelters. And there was a moment, uh, as the story goes, that a guy, there was some so black guys up on, on, the, on the bus shot and there was a white guy who's trying to get up to join them. And they were like, yeah, come on, come on. And I think he tried to climb up and he fell down. And everyone's like, oh no. But then he tried again. And then a black guy reached down and pulled him up and everyone gave a massive round of applause. And Charlie got the moment where he was reaching out uh, to the guy who was trying to pull him up. Um, and if I'm really honest, um, when Isaac actually, when Governor B actually said, hey, you up for writing a song to speak into the whole racial injustice thing, the, the image that Charlie posted was that photo that same day. I'm pretty sure it was that same day. Um, and that, that was what I presented back to, to Governor B because I saw that image and it, the, creative, the creativity just flowed that was amazing. So this song actually, um, the collaboration idea for this song uh, started uh, when uh, I approached a friend of mine, Governor B, who's actually in the song, to write together. And I wrote a chorus and I presented it to him and we, we made use of Zoom because that's how people are writing nowadays. And uh, he sat with it for a bit, he got into it. Um, I built up a little scratch demo at home. And then um, I suppose it felt like a natural thing to do was to open up the conversation to the other two artists on the same management and they were up for it. And so um, it was a beautiful thing. It was a very risky thing. A friend of mine uh, has this saying, um, he's in the industry and he, he says this thing, collaboration brings about innovation. Um, and I feel like because we're all writing uh, remotely in different locations, I think I automatically had a fear of like, oh man, how's this gonna go? Um, in actual fact, I thought I might end up being the weakest link. And then immediately like everyone was just, as I said, I just think everyone smashed it. Everyone smashed it, <laughs> more so than me. <laughs> Um, so the song uh, we played today, uh, called Brother, is basically a response to a lot of the um, social injustice which has been highlighted uh, during this time of lockdown, of global lockdown. Almost a, uh, a response and a reflection on the generational social injustice and racial injustice of black people. I think uh, during the time that um, things came to light, um, at the death of uh, George Floyd over in America, I think it highlighted in a lot of people and creatives uh, just the need to talk about what's happened, what's been experienced, uh, what's been witnessed over the years. My dad's generation, his parents' generation. Um, and, um, and I feel like this song is a bit of a response, not in anger, but more so in reflection and, um, and hope of a better future. I think this song, for me, I don't see it as a, as a political song, I see it as a song, a humanitarian song, a song to do with humanity and a social awareness. I didn't approach this song, and I don't think any of, any of my mates approached this song with a political framework in mind. I think we looked at it as to, listen, I've got a three-year-old boy. I know some of the other guys have got children. What's life gonna be like for them? There's nothing political about that. It's more so, listen, I'm gonna use what I have in my hand to throw something into their future. And, and that's what we did. It just seems to have been something which has contributed to a, a converse, an ongoing conversation in a lot of people's minds. Also, it feels like the song helped people find a bit more peace and by highlighting what's important. When I reflect about it, I feel like being angry about something cool, but being angry with a vision and a hope for the future actually brings about change. And I feel like Accidentally, maybe, I don't know, we've stumbled upon something in this little tune that we wrote, which kind of gives a vision for the future. The guys I collaborated with, let's start with uh, Ladies First, Bianca Rose. 
a phenomenal singer-songwriter. I've known, Bian I've known of Bianca for a few years. In fact, if I'm really honest, I, I, used to, I was quite intimidated by Bianca when, when I first heard about her. Uh, just because I just thought like, She's just mean. She's like she's just like badass as a singer songwriter and with a guitar. And she she comes up with these really cool like quirky melodies, but really soulful lyrics and soulful delivery. Joshua Luke Smith again, I've known of from afar, um, and and it's, you always kind of get a bit scared when people just talk so highly of people. You kind of go, oh man, it's kind of mad. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, but as I've got to know him, I just find that he's he's got one of the biggest hearts. And in Isaac um, Governor B, I've known the longest. Yeah, he's he's I've not, he's family, he's family, and um, to the point where I did a little bit at his wedding, and um, and he terrorises my life. Common denominator throughout the whole thing is is our manager, uh, Loretta, um, Safe Music Management. She um, we we all come together under that umbrella, which is which is rare because you don't hear many artists doing that under a management company. She's like tour mum, she's like boss, she's like if you step out of line, you die. And so it's it's great, it's a great relationship.